Mm. Train to Busan, just so you know. Great film. Ten. It's an absolute ten. It's maybe it's like a nine point nine really eight point eight out of ten. Really good film. Okay, no, actually. For horror horror genre film. Yeah. I don't like things that are too gory. I don't like things that actually make me feel scared. But this had like the jump scare value. It yeah. had it had the sitting at the edge of your seat, just like no. Are they gonna One die? Of, yeah. What happens next? Like that big question where you're just like, I need to know. At the end of like every scene. Yeah, it basically. was really, and the acting was very well done. Pretty well done. And I, on, we, we watched it subtitled, best. and I think it was subtitled well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I thought it was done well. Uh, Uncle, just a great oh character. God, that that my uncle, God. My God. Just stu- stunning. Amazing. As his characterization was, was the best a, in was the film. A, yeah. It was really, really something. So this is apparently a sequel. Who would have thunk it? I know I wouldn't have thunk they'd make a sequel to it because it seemed like you wouldn't really make a sequel to it. Yeah, how could you? It doesn't make sense. Mm. After the film came out, they actually made a prequel called Soul Station, if you don't know. Wow. uh, Which was an animation. I didn't actually... I only only found out about this like a little while ago. I I mean... No idea. I don't know why they did that, really. But then I don't see even more of a reason why they (laughs) decided to make a sequel to a film which didn't really... Need a sequel? I didn't need one, but you know what? People demanded it. People really wanted yeah. more from this story. It's one of the highest grossing films in Korean film. So, so well. uh, Everyone history, was just least. talking about it because it was such yeah. a nail biter. Yeah, I probably saw it about two years ago now, I would yeah. say. I, I, watched it. I was then. waiting to watch it with you, so I watched it the first time. Yeah, we actually you. watched it here, didn't we? We watched it, yeah, we in this watched exact it here. location. We don't normally ever watch films yeah. here. Yeah, we watched it literally here. Wow, jumping out of our seats. Yeah, we did. Wow. I f- yeah, wow. Well, yeah. Long time ago. It was. You can really dance. Wow. Wow. <laughs> you can really dance. All right. <laughs> so uh, this is called Peninsula. Mm-hmm. Let's get to it. I do hope it is a good trailer. I hope mm-hmm. it's a good film because the first one was genuinely iconic. Yeah. So let's get to it. Yes. Let's go. Oh, loud. Oh. Oh, what? They got me. They got me. Oh. Oh Holy my God. shit. Is what? Is that the mall? Is that the train station that they were in? Is that the mom? The, the one with the kid who was pregnant, remember? Yeah, I remember. What? It's a prison. like a gladiator-esque thing. <gasps> what? What? Oh, oh damn. Kid. Oh, that was right. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm shell shocked. I got this like oh my god. That was just smacking you around the head the for re- a minute and a half, yeah. wasn't it? Yeah, there was just there was so much in that. Oh my gosh. Did you get that? I got this uncomfortable feeling going down my spine. Like the longer it went, did you no, get I that? No, I just got straight up sick. I felt oh, I felt God. straight up like sick in my chest. Oh. Like something was off straight away about this. Wow. Uh, that was it. Like a gladiator esque scene. It looked like they'd put them. It, like there was a jail and this this whole mass of. Wow. Wow. This is. I wonder what they're actually gonna do with the story exactly. Obviously, it's about survival, but what? Yeah. What? Who? Who is it following? I recognise the, the main female, uh, the lead female actor. That might be the woman from um, from the last one who who was who, who was pregnant, right? Maybe I don't. Uncle's wife. I don't know if it is or not. Maybe but... I I can't remember her face exactly, but I recognise her. She here. might be from something else. I don't know. Might have been from something um, else. I did get a bit of a um a raid vibe in terms of the style and directing if you've not seen the raid mm-hmm. it's like this indonesian film mm-hmm. um really good the first one second one's not bad it's an action 
thriller type film. Yeah. Very, very gory. Um, not my type of film, but I still enjoyed aspects of it, even though it's not my cup of tea. Mm -hmm. This one definitely had that type of feel more than the original Train to Busan. Like, if you watch that first Train to Busan trailer, mm. it didn't have this type of vibe. No, it didn't. This had a much more action-heavy vibe maybe, than, maybe the story than the previous needs one, it. right? Maybe the story needs it. In the other one, it was more like the shock. It was, it was a on, story. It, was on it felt one... more of a story. This yeah. one feels like an action film, which is fine. Mm -hmm. Because as yeah, long as they produce something good, then it doesn't matter. I but mean, very different tone, I think. They had explosions, which did take me to a surprise. I know it's yeah. in a post-apocalyptic world, but I was like, explosions? Bloody hell. Imagine, Machine guns? Imagine with our world right now. Imagine. No, that's not right. Nah, can you Could not? this happen? Can you not? I don't know. Let's not. That's not what we need right now in quarantine. Not with the zombie stuff. I'm just saying with like uh, the apocalyptic stuff. Please, but all it would take would, for, would be like internet access to shut down God, and people would be... Rioting. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> You're right, that is literally it. wouldn't it. even take much. The beginning, middle and end of the Western world would be no internet access. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so this was actually a very good trailer for what it was. Yeah. It just completely shocked you. Yeah. And, and made you sit back and just... Take it. Be perplexed. <laughs> yeah. And bemused by it. Yeah. Right? I think that's what they were going for, at least. I also like... I mean, it's only like one and a half minutes, yeah. but trailers these days do this thing sometimes where they give away all of the story yeah. in the trailer and all the best action points. I imagine some of these shots were some of the best action points, but they didn't really give you any of the story. But, yeah, they didn't I give you any of the story. Which, which I appreciate, because I want that to be something that But with involves. these action-heavy films, generally, yeah. these trailers aren't... They don't give you away the story. Yeah, Because but, they purposefully put emphasis on the great, the shots, great shots and the mm. visuals and, and the hype and the mm. tempo of the film. Mm -hmm. They try and put that through with the trailer rather than the story. Yeah. Um, so with action heavy films, they don't generally give away the plot. They can and when they do, that's bad. Mm -hmm. But normally they don't really do that because they know what the thing is. Mm -hmm. High tempo, high action, mm -hmm. high octane, get people in seats. I don't know when this is coming out because 2020. It's coming soon at the end. And he said else. coming soon 2020, so they haven't set Maybe an the actual end of date, the year? which is good because they don't need to set a date. No, they don't. They could set a date two weeks before it comes out, and this thing would bang yeah. in Korea. Every, yeah, yeah. And it would do well across Asia, but uh, it's probably good they haven't set a date because, mm. I mean, Currently, it's probably going to get yeah. moved and mm. then moved and moved. Probably going to get like an October or November release, I would think. Mm. But uh, I'm excited to see it. I'll see it. If it's I'll in UK it. cinemas. I mean, I would say I want to see it, but I don't know if I want to see this in cinemas. I think I would jump. I would jump out of my seat. I'm not good with and, horror films yeah, in cinemas. Yeah, nor am I. No. Wait, wait, if I'll see it with you though. If, if the two of us go I together, don't want, I don't want to see it in cinemas, man. I'll be jumping. I'll, it's is, even more than other horror films. Is, I think when we go and see films, sometimes um, we're the only ones like yelping, in horror screaming, films occasionally reacting. Everyone else is just sat there quietly and we are jumping, covering our faces. And being animated. Really being but genuine. We're being, real. We're yeah. not being we're we're fake or anything. Like, just... I'm a very jumpy person. So is he. But I don't want to do that in public. No, sometimes. I just... No, it's not that I don't want to do it in public. And I don't also, care about the public. I, feel like I don't want to do it because I don't know if someone's going to come behind me and be like... Uh, I'll be like... Uh, ah! Can you not? I would, uh, I'm not I, I would get scared and then knock uh, them out. And then I would get done. Yeah, you would. I don't want would. that. I don't need that. Nah. nah. But uh, I'll okay. see it when it comes out. Streaming is always good. Mm -hmm. So, good trailer. Really liked, liked it. it. Don't get why it's called Peninsula, but... Maybe it's traveling across the Korean Peninsula. I, you know what? I just thought, as I said, <laughs> I don't know what I, I think. I just clocked what it means. I think I just did. Yeah. North and South Korea coming together. Maybe. Who knows? I think maybe the whole world is a bit done at this point. Maybe. Yeah. Anyway, guys, if you did enjoy this video, please do like, share, comment, and subscribe to the channel down there. If you didn't, if you didn't, then uh, a zombie will come after you. You don't want that. Do they want that? You really don't. You really don't want that. So just subscribe anyway to avoid that. I've been your of the comic. I've been India. You have been great. And we'll see you next time. That's tomorrow. If you don't know, no one knows. And I'll say it. That's okay. It's okay that you don't know. <laughs> but I'm going to tell you right now the fact, the truth, and the future. I make a video every single day. Been doing it for over... 600 days. 700, 700 days. days. Thank you. I, I appreciate I that. I wasn't sure. I, I thought, I, I'd, thought I, I'd lowball I, it just to make sure. Because I don't want to be I, like, over 700 days. But we're actually 699. <laughs> over you know? 700 days. 
not 600. 700. And we ain't stopping until we get to? 10,000 subscribers. 10,000 subscribers. Well done. I'm going to give you a clap. You got that one right, so clap for yourself. That's good. Uh, we're not stopping. 10,000 subscribers. I know it's a lot of people. I know it's a lot. It's not a little number. It's not a big number. It's somewhere in the middle. He's not wrong. I mean, actually, in terms of numbers overall, it's very it's low. A, yeah. Like, because you go up to infinity, 10,000 is really nothing. But in terms of people, it's a lot of people. I appreciate it. When we get there, that would be great. So subscribe. Please do. Please do. Please do. Uh, so I'll see you tomorrow because I'll be back with some more quality shitty content. Yep. Yep. That's what we do here. Yep. Will you be here? Maybe. You're probably not going to be here, I'm quarantining, so I'm in self-isolation with you. So odds, odds maybe. Maybe. More than they used to be. So yeah, maybe. I'll maybe. Be here. Who knows? He'll be here for sure. No. Yeah. He's sucking me dry at this point. It is. Please you can just, see it in your face. Please you just know. subscribe. <laughs> please, <laughs> please just subscribe. See you tomorrow. I'll be here. I'm always here. Never not here. See you tomorrow. Skadoosh.